Sakyamuni Buddha taught also many other methods of different levels to his uh, followers, as you know already. So he introduced many other Buddhas to them, the Amitabha Buddha, Medicine Buddha, Krishikava, Bodhisattva, etc. And the Buddha also taught the method of contemplating the physical body. And some even contemplated so deeply that they saw the body is only bones. Of course, that's the structure of our body, the frame which our body is built upon. But this uh, body and all this structure and the mind, which are functions to direct the body's parts to function, this is from the second level only. Thus, if you contemplate on that, you might uh, avoid hell, and maybe when you go up there, you see the Buddha and other holy saints, then you can learn with them. But it takes a long, long, long time. And uh, many of all the methods contemplate on different chakras of the body, meaning different centers of the body, even from the feet upward, or from the solar plexus onward. But it takes long, long, long journey and long, long, long practice. It could be many lifetimes until you reach the crown chakra. So the Guanyin method brings you the best, the highest, starting from the highest chakra already. But it needs a master, truly an expert master, who can open it for you to go up there. You see, the highest chakra needs an enlightened master to help you to open it up. And some so-called masters also teach you similar inner light and sound methods. But if uh, his level is low, then that's all he can take you to. Like he only attained the second level or third level, for example, then that's all. That is where he can take you. He can't take you any further than that. <laughs> 